Welcome back, everyone, to Dual Destinies. Man, I don't know. I, they just threw a loop at us, and I'm not sure where we're going with this or what it's going to mean, but we're about to get, again, the truth. We already promised the truth once, but you know how this game works. Now we're getting the whole truth. That makes it different, everyone. Let's hear what Marlon Rhymes has to say, because right now he's in a little bit of trouble, I think. Hey, yo, in the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Yo, then the captain came down and slammed into the water. I, I can still remember the spectator screams clearly. All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked. What? Wait a minute, no. None of that makes sense. Hang the, hold the phone, please. What do you mean? So now because we are concluding that maybe the murder actually happened in a different place other than the orca's regular pool, now you're gonna tell me that he was killed in front of people? Wait, I thought this whole time that there was no people involved, no one witnessed the murder. What spectators are you talking about? What? What is all this crap? I'm, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, now we're back to the orca again, I see. If you were going to give testimony like that, why did I bother putting you on the stand? Man, Blackwell knows it's garbage. He already knows that there's like five million inconsistencies in that, right? Like he could tell, I think. Yo, all I'm doing is telling the truth. Boy, no you ain't. <laughs> Wait, fuck, no you fucking aren't, sir. That day Sasha wanted to do the old version of the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Yo, so I suggested she hide the body in the skull rock and move it to the orca pool. What? Nobody's gonna believe this crap. What are you talking about? I was gonna figure out what to do with the body after the show was over. So now you're telling me that this is like a weekend at Bernie's situation and they just had the dead body hanging around to do whatever they wanted with- <laughs> Sir! Sir, you need to stop this. Yo, the orc is the one that killed the captain. It wasn't me and it wasn't Sasha. Oh, what do we do? Oh, this is madness. So it was Mr. Rhyme's idea to hide the body in the skull rock? This all seems real fucked up. But if Mr. Rhyme's is the culprit, why would he protect Sasha? I mean, he clearly likes her. At least I, I think that he does. He's mentioned it before. False charges against Sasha would mean he himself would escape suspicion. So why? Mr. Wright, how about if you leave this to me? What's wrong, Athena? Oh, did she send something? That could be it right there. Athena, do you mean you heard something? Yeah, noise, discord in Mr. Rhyme's heart. So that means somewhere in his testimony, there's an inconsistency in his emotions. What do you, of course there is. That whole thing was freaking gobshite. What was it? All right, Athena, give him a good counseling session. Let's freaking go. <laughs> you got it, boss. All right, it's time. It's time for smiles, everyone. All right. Huh? What's this? What are you getting, Athena? Hmm. This testimony is pretty complex. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean that he's not, like, outright lying? Oh, there's something wrong here. Oh, I'm, I don't... Oh. Oh, I don't know. With the music and everything? I don't know about this. Feelings of deep sadness and intense anger are being called up. Really? Those two emotions appear to be running out of control. Out of control emotions? Uh, is that going to be a problem? Well, we'll have to probe their cause if we want to get his true emotions and testimony. Wait, have we done this before? There might even be an odd or unnatural spot in his testimony that he isn't even aware of. All right. Let's probe the cause of his out of control emotions. And All right, let's get the probe, everyone. I mean, I, I, someone's going to say it. <laughs> it, might, it might as well be me. But is this gonna be like mega sad? Oh shit. He's got, he's got something going on in there. We gotta find out what it is. I'll explain how to probe. Oh, oh, Phoenix, you don't know. Let's find the root cause together. When you see something off in a statement, tap the probe button. Okay, yeah, this is different. Next point to what's causing Mr. Rhymes' out of control emotions. Finally, tap probe to complete the process. When emotions are out of control, memories can be recalled incorrectly. Oh, so it's not necessarily that he's lying. He might just be remembering incorrect. What? That just seems so odd. If you still haven't found anything after all the statements and images, I'll help. Great. All right. I'll get started comparing the statements with the images. Here we go. What's this going to be about? Okay, let's see. Who 
let's do it, sir. Oh, 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 it's broken. Oh, shoot, look at this. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Okay. So there's gonna be anger and sadness to this whole thing, right? Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. What I really want to do is is find the one where he was talking about the people that saw him because that clearly has to be done first because th there was no people. I can still remember the spectator screams. What's this? Like, this is what I mean. There were no people there. They were saying that it wasn't witnessed by anyone. So is, do I hit this then? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, Shipley? Oh, audience. Oh, right, this is the cause, right? Can we, is this what we need to do? What's causing anger and sadness? But that would make me think of the dead captain, but I don't think that's... Mm, am I reading this wrong? No, it would be this, right? Because this is what I think is out of place. So let's see what happens when we probe that. I'm assuming that's what I have to do. I doubt there were any spectators there at the show stage when the owner died. Yeah, Phoenix, right? Because, like, ugh, no one witnessed it. At least I thought. If there had been, those witnesses would have told us the true crime scene right away. Also true. We have no witnesses to those. What? what? Oh, yo, oh, right, of course. Yo, I made a mistake. What do you mean? How could you make a mistake like that, though? Oh, but it's not, it's not finished. It's not finished. Okay. That made the sadness subside. So, maybe the spectator's part was what was making him sad? I wonder why he would make that mistake, though. Saying spectators were there? How strange. That's what I'm saying. The only thing I can think of is that he was mixing up one memory with another. What? <gasps> oh no! What? What? What if he means the the first lady that got killed? <gasps> we don't know too much about that. Is that what he's talking about? Is that what we're getting at here? Like he was in a similar situation before, and it deeply imprinted on his heart. <gasps> that has to be it. The other trainer that was killed. Oh no! A situation where an orca killed somebody and there were spectators? <gasps> Lord. Hey, I think I know why he's mixing up his memories. The reason why Mr. Rhymes mixed up his memories is... Oh, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, what do we do? Uh, is it gonna be a person or is it gonna be a thing? Here's what I'm not sure about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. we've got this, though. I was almost gonna just put her, would, would putting her profile work too? It probably will. It's about the case from last year. Right, there she, okay, this is probably what we need. This is it right here. Cause it's got her picture and everything and it says how it happened. Take that! Oh my God, I almost put her profile up. Mr. Rhymes, I think I know what happened. Could you have been mixing up what happened a year ago with this incident? Oh no, yo! What's this nonary game music? Oh shit! Yo, here we go! Maybe that's why you slipped and said the owner was killed in front of spectators? Wh what Yo, how did you- You're right. I, I did see the orca kill somebody a year ago. Oh no! Yo, what about it? I was just one of the spectators. Really? Just another spectator? There must be a reason why you feel great sadness about that incident last year. Oh no. Oh no. Is he the boyfriend of that girl? Silence. Hey, excuse me, can you not scream? We're having a mo we're having a nonary game moment. Stop this nonsensical scrutiny of feelings. Just present evidence to prove your point. Prove your point? Ugh. Boss, do we have any kind of evidence that would back us up here? There is one piece that comes to mind that might explain his sadness. <gasps> Phoenix, are you saying? Well, I'm waiting. Let's see this evidence that has to do with Marlon Rhymes' sadness. Oh shit, I don't like this. He was the boyfriend, was he not? And here I had it pinned on the on the dock. But this would make sense too, I suppose. 
Take that. Oh, I don't. Oh, this. I don't like the feels on this. Oh no. Azura Summers died an accidental death one year ago. This is her boyfriend's charm. Hey, what are you doing with that charm? It was found in Rifle's stomach yesterday. Judging by your reaction, I believe this charm belongs to you. It is, isn't it? It's yours. I guess I need to push him just a little harder to make him admit it. Well, when Mr. Rhyme said the word charm, he was very rattled. We'd better examine this charm a little more. Good idea. Let's look inside it. You gonna open it? I didn't even realize that it opened. What's this? A photograph? <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! It is him. Oh gosh. Hey, this is Azura Summers and Marlon Rhymes. Oh no, they look cute together. Mr. Rhymes, you and Azura Summers were a couple, weren't you? Ugh. Yo, so what if we were a couple? It doesn't have anything to do with the captain's case. You believe you saw the orca kill your girlfriend. That's the cause of your sadness. Isn't that emotion of yours connected to the current case? Silence. <gasps> That's horrible. Can you imagine? The only thing you revealed was the witness's relationship with the victim a year ago. I mean, I'm getting there. Hang on, you can't rush these kind of things, dude. Have a heart, man. What does the witness's past have to do with the case at hand? What do you mean? I don't know yet. But we managed to pinpoint the source of his sadness. Now let's delve into who Mr. Rhymes is angry at. Oh, right, okay, so we still got that, do we? Okay, here we go. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. So I'm not, is anything gonna change here? Let's just see what we have. Oh God. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, here's the updated info here. I can still remember the captain's dead body clearly. I mean, that would make him angry, I'm sure. Oh, all Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. Oh, look at that, that looks weird. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freak. I almost wanna present something here. Maybe, are we going with the fact that the proof is, is that Rhymes doesn't like Orla or is mad at Orla because knowing, thinking that Orla killed the captain, right? He got angry because he thought of his girlfriend? Is that too much? But we could have used that on a few pages, couldn't we? Oh, I don't know. What do, can we probe something? Wait a minute, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Can we probe something here? What can we probe? Oh, we, yeah, we can. We can probe Orla. Is this the only page that shows her? One sec, guys, sorry. She's not here. She's not here. Not here. She is here, though. So we can either present maybe that her on the first or this last one. Let's try this last one. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it actually shows her with the captain in her mouth. And I wonder if that isn't part of it. Right? Is that it? Oh, shit. I wonder if it would have worked on the first one, too. Mr. Rhymes, you're angry with Orla, aren't you? Yeah, because he probably thinks that she did it again. Angry? At an orca? Why would I be? What do you mean? Yo, if you think I got some reason to be mad, show me proof. Huh? Is he really going with this? Do I have proof that Mr. Rhymes has a reason to be mad? I do. Well, I mean, we have the charm at the least. That sh will that work? I bet that evidence we just took a look at would come in handy here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This charm indicates that you were Azura Summer's boyfriend. I'm sure that you believe Orla killed your girlfriend a year ago. You lost your girlfriend and so you've been angry at Orla. <sighs> Is that true? All right. Yeah, I admit it. I never forgave the Orca. Azura's dead. 
And that orca's still swimming around, happy as a clam. I get it. I Oh, this poor dude. I became an animal keeper just so I could prove that an orca is a killer. Seriously? You're right. I want that orca to pay. There. Do you feel good dragging up a person's past? It still doesn't change anything. Oh, no. We're still at 30? What else do we have to figure out? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. He's right. I disagree. It does change things. His out-of-control emotion quieted down. Now we should be able to find out the truth behind the emotion. Oh, yeah, Athena. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Oh, we've got them all now. Okay, so let's pay attention now. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. So we've got a lot of anger and a little bit of sadness. That seems like it's fine. Then the captain came down and slammed on into the water. Again, the sadness and the anger, which we're probably going to see throughout. I can still remember it clearly. All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca find in the body, I freaked. Okay. Nothing's happened, though. Nothing's different. Hmm. What, what are we supposed to be... Hmm. Oh, don't forget, too. I think I made this mistake once before. We're supposed to also pinpoint when something's not happened. Aren't we? Let me think, right? He freaked. Wouldn't that mean that surprise... Uh, I guess what I'm thinking is, on the last one again... It said he freaked. Should the surprise be lit up? Is that what... Can we... I forget. Can we pinpoint something that's not existing right now in front of us? Do we have to just pinpoint what's wrong? I think we can. I'm going to try it. Pinpoint what's the unexpected... Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, no. I think so, though, right? Is that it? Oh, shit. God, I, th I think we fucked this up once before where I didn't pinpoint that he should have been feeling something and they and it wasn't there. Oh, Jesus, I could skim by that, skin my teeth. I had no idea. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, you freaked? Really? Did you? Yo, what are you getting at? How come you weren't surprised then? With Mr. Plume as a witness, Orla was guaranteed to be accused of the murder. Didn't it work out exactly as you'd hoped? <gasps> Did he plan that? In order to have Orla put down, you made sure Mr. Plume witnessed the scene. Oh my god, dude! Oh, I don't- oh, I, oh, fuck, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like that portrait. No, sir, I'm trying to like you over here. I mean, I get it, but god. Bye-bye. Oh no, oh no. You figured it all out, did you? Mr. Rhymes? Are you admitting it? Yo, I, I didn't really want to have to fight anybody but the orca. Yo, but you leave me no choice. What are you doing? What's that? Uh, sir, don't get drunk in here. This is a court. Oh, shit. What is he doing? What's happening? Whoa! What the fuck? He just turned into a Street Fighter character. Oh, it was, we're back to One Piece. What's happening? Wait, what's this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Rhymes. Yo, what's up, dude? Now it's time to get serious. Holy shit, that was a glow up. Yo, ahoy, what, what? Yo, 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 ho, ho. Ahoy, me, meat brothers represent. Meat brothers, what? A vast G grass eater, stay free. Take me words and pop in your mouth, scurvy grass eaters. Kneel to my beat. Yo, why you keep talking about meat eating? What is this? What just fucking happened? Uh, uh, what's going on? That's me right now. <laughs> Where did this pirate fellow come from? Does he have dual personality? What's happening? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen that in this game <laughs> franchise in general. He looks like a completely different person. Oh my god. Yo, you were in a diaper in there? What's that go? What, what, did you guys see that? Where was he going with that butt? What? I'm sorry. We gotta see that again. <laughs> Pardon me? Order. If we don't have order, Prosecutor Blackwell will yell at us. I don't. Oh, he doesn't even know what to fucking do. No, 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 no. We're all we're all fucked. Holy shit! It's got to be something when you catch him off guard. It must be that diaper ass of his. What the fuck? 
Even Prosecutor Blackwell's at a loss for words. What are we doing? So I plan to have that wench be a witness for the hour you called me out. It'd be true, I thought that orca's murderous ways should be found out. That'd be why I schemed to have De Plume see the body. Who in the fuck are you? So you admit it? You deliberately framed Orla? Did you? Also, I like your friend. Ah, it'd be true, but what skin be that off anyone's nose? That orca be a murdering scurvy dog. I may have a grudge against that orca, but I always felt grateful towards the captain. The orca murdered Azura and the captain, so of course she should walk the plank. I see. Well, I don't have a response to that. Who does? I agree, it wouldn't make any sense for him to kill the owner. Why would he? But his hatred for Orla, on the other hand, comes through loud and clear. Yeah, it sure does. What do we do? Wait a minute. If killing Mr. Shipley doesn't make sense, who would it make sense for Rhymes to kill? Maybe. My theory's been all wrong. What do you mean, Phoenix? Your Honor? I think I just became aware of a new fact. <laughs> Marlon Rhymes is now hot somehow. <laughs> and over here looking like a One Piece Street Fighter character. Oh, what's that? Now that we know about Mr. Rhymes' intense hatred of Orla, it turns the premise we've been arguing under its, on its ear. Oh, Phoenix! I see what you're getting at! I will now reveal the identity of the individual Mr. Rhymes meant to kill from the start. It's her. It's the whale. He wanted to kill her and somehow something happened and the captain got killed instead. That. that would make perfect sense. What? So the witness's intent was to kill the orca? Exactly. The witness's intended victim was not Jack Shipley. From the start, it was all a scheme to kill Orla. The orca was his true target, but Jack Shipley is the one who died. Yeah, it was an accident, probably. The orca is alive and quite well. Yeah, I realize that, dude. Oh no, oh no, oh, I can't, whoa, okay. He's right. He wanted to kill the orca, and yet it was Jack Shipley who fell to his death. How did that happen? Wait a minute. What if, what do you got, Phoenix? What are you thinking? What if Mr. Rhymes wanted to kill Orla was somehow connected to Mr. Shipley's death? <laughs> At a loss for words, are you? What happened to your bravado of a moment ago? I was, I, I was temporarily detained by Pex. It's not my fault. Enough of these reckless words without any basis in fact. Objection! Wait a minute, I'm getting somewhere with this though, clearly. They aren't reckless words. The basis for my claim is at the real murder scene, the show pool. What are you talking about? It's my contention that two incidents happened at the show pool the attempted murder of the orca, and the victim falling to his death. Okay, okay. Those two things. First of all, in order to kill the orca, Mr. Rhymes removed something from the scene. And by so doing, he made it possible for Mr. Shipley to fall to his death. What did he remove? This is what Mr. Rhymes removed in an attempt to kill Orla? What was removed in an attempt to kill... <gasps> the water. <laughs> oh, sorry, I almost choked. It has to be the water. Take that! That's how he fell to his death and got killed. Don't tell me you're trying to claim that he tried to kill the orca by draining the pool water. That's exactly what I'm claiming. To help the defendant with the cleaning, Marlon Rhymes took charge of Orla. With the plan to kill Orla in the show pool. And because the pool water was drained, he fell to his death he didn't know. It made it possible for Jack Shipley to fall to his death in the show pool. Oh, shit! Oh my, oh my, wow, dudes. What, well, who's holding? Why are we holding it? Is Holden here? Who's holding? Oh, it's you. What are you doing with that? Put that shit down. Ew! Wait a second. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Do not do that. Listen, sushi's great and everything, but you should not eat that like that. Oh my god. Can you even prove there was nary a drop of water in the pool? That day, I was simply looking after the orca. Why would I have the monstrous thought of killing it? Objection! What do you mean? You just said. You claim you were looking after Orla in the early morning hours of July 20th. But I don't think you were doing a very good job of it. 
After all, Orla wasn't given anything to eat during that time. How would you know such a thing? I know because of Orla's record here in the Torpedo Data System. This system continuously records data on its subjects that it monitors. From Orla's record, we can tell exactly when she ate or didn't eat. Sink me! No one ever told me about that dastardly contraption! I don't know why his voice changed. I probably should keep it the way it was with just pirates on it. I don't know. The, the whole thing is turning me right around. Only a few of the ship shape aquarium staff know about this. According to Orla's record, she never ate in those early morning hours of the 20th. You planned to kill Orla, and that's why you didn't feed her. Silence. Oh no. T you're wasting time. What proof do you have of that? Perhaps the orca simply wasn't hungry. Ugh. He's right. I, I don't have any proof. Do we not? If Orla simply didn't eat, then that would create an inconsistency. Where did her fish go? Her fish? Good question. Where did it disappear to? Wait a minute, what? Fish? What does it matter? What relevance does it have to the case? Cease the stalling by asking inconsequential questions. I have a question for you. When are you going to lose the shirt? I'm just asking. I mean, he lost his. You might as well join him, though. Stop delving into the depths of the orca's stomach and delve into the case instead. Objection! Wait a minute. I bet you were waiting all day to fire that one out. But wait, it may seem like a small inconsistency. But it is an issue of great importance, I think. Oh, Phoenix. What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. How could the fish disappear? Somebody must have eaten it. Huh? Well, judging by that dude taking a big-ass bite out of the fucking swordfish could have been him for all we know. Who's came to the show stage and ate Orla's fish? I think I might have a pretty good idea. <gasps> I do know! Oh, wait, 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 it makes sense! I believe there must have been a visitor to the show stage that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice. Wait, we've got some things. Oh, I think I know what it is. Visitor? Are you trying to introduce yet another suspect this 11th hour? Oh, that's a good game, by the way. If you utter more of your careless remarks, Taka won't look favorably upon it. I don't plan to utter any careless whispers. Oh, wait. <laughs> I just play it over the loudspeaker while I say this. Whether my remarks will actually be related to the case or not, I don't yet know. Don't worry, boss. If Taka comes this way, I'll fend him off. But do try to keep your remarks careful. Somehow, Orla's fish disappeared. Somebody must have visited the show stage, but who? I think I know. This was the visitor. It was Rifle. Think about it, right? So here's what we know. Rifle had a stomach ache. We also, don't we have a piece of evidence that shows that Rifle was like walking all over something that was made? Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna say, yes, I'm gonna say her. I believe Rifle the Penguin visited the show stage. First an orca, now a penguin? Why would you be saying such a thing, Mr. Lawyer? I didn't see Rifle during the wee early morning hours. Do you have any proof that Rifle visited the show stage? Do I still have that proof? I hope I'm right about that. If you be a lawyer, any salt, show me evidence. Show me what you got! The bottom of Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. Right! That fact is a clue that Rifle was indeed at the show stage. I have to present that piece of evidence that connects Rifle to the show- Okay, so this is what I was thinking. When we showed that her feet were pink and they were worried about it, it looked like she walked in paint. Do we have anything with paint on it? Because that's what I was wondering. Not to prove I'm a lawyer worth my salt. Phoenix, did you just say that out loud? <laughs> that's weird. This is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Where's that thing? This thing! It's got pink all over it! Look at it! It's even got her footprints on it! For fuck's sake! I, oh, Jesus. I didn't even realize. Oh my! What a cute little sign! Look at all those adorable stars! These stars are actually starfish. Miss Buckler painted the sign. Right, we saw it over there. In the early morning hours of the 20th, she left the sign at the show stage to dry. Oh, it's starting to come together. Mr. Rhymes kept an eye on the sign for Miss Buckler while the paint was drying. Aye, that be true, but what be your point, yo? On this sign is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Proof of the penguin's visit? 
Yeah, yeah, it says the pink footprints, right? Yeah. Where is the proof that the penguin visited the show stage? Please point it out. Yeah, like right over right here. I'm assuming any of them were. Take that! Yeah. A couple of the pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. Oh, oh, you're right. They look almost like little leaves. I am so sorry. Something happened. The emulator went black. Well, the, the screen did. We're, we're good now. We're fine. I'm very sorry for that. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> okay. Rifle had pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes on this sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Oh my, fr I can't believe this. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dry. Ho ho, what cute little pink penguin prints. So, there are footprints. What of them? What do you mean? Marlon Rhymes was watching over the sign at the show stage while the paint dried. Oh, here comes the music back. Thank God for that. I thought we lost it. And during that time, the penguin paid a visit. According to the torpedo data system, we know that Rifle ate something that morning of the 20th. Most likely, Rifle ate the fish meant for Orla that was at the show stage. Orla's snack was a small quantity of fish. Even a penguin could have eaten it all. Yo, begad! Rifle ate Orla's fish? Yo, who be you to say Rifle ate Orla's fish? She could have picked up food anywhere. But that doesn't change the fact that I really was at the show stage. After all, I had to help move Skull Rock. It couldn't have been moved without me, yo. The witness claims that he never saw the penguin. How do you explain this contradiction? Both Mr. Rhymes and Rifle were at the show stage, but Mr. Rhymes didn't see her. So where could Mr. Rhymes have been at the time? Where could he have been? In the pool, right? Because there was no water in it. If he was all the way at the bottom of a drained pool and she was up there, that would absolutely be an answer that we could use. Right, don't know if you aren't up to the task. Believe me, you, I am up to it. Good drop your pants. Wait, what? I could disprove this witness's testimony for you. Even he knows it's full of shit. If I leave it to Prosecutor Blackwell, Sasha will be declared guilty. I can't let him interrupt this line of reasoning. Mr. Wright, let's try to figure out how things looked when Rifle came to the show stage. Mr. Rhymes is at the show stage, keeping an eye on Orla and the sign. And we know it must be true because he helped move the skull rock. And then Rifle came in and walked over the sign. But wouldn't but would Mr. Rhymes notice Rifle if he was right there? Well, let's think about where Mr. Rhymes could have been. Is there a place in the show stage area from which Rifle couldn't have been seen? Yes. Down here again. Right? Down here in the pool, if the water was drained. See, they're trying to trick you by not showing the water drained, because we just, I guess we just can't do that. What? Inside the pool? But you're right. If he was inside the pool, he wouldn't have noticed Rifle. So, are you saying Mr. Rhymes was underwater the whole time Rifle was eating? No, not underwater. When I think about what he was trying to do, the answer's clear. Now I'm finally starting to get the whole picture. Tch, just like yesterday. Most of you two always be whispering to each other. Are you jealous? Do you want to come over here and whisper to me? I'll let you. Why don't you admit that it is resorting to a penguin? We'll get you nowhere. Objection! What do you mean? I've got this. Oh, I don't know about that. The fact that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice Rifle is such a small inconsistency. But it's a key point that proves what Mr. Rhymes was trying to do. Yeah, here come the music. Let's frickin' go. The penguin is a key point. The show stage pool is very deep. If Rifle came to visit while Mr. Rhymes was at the bottom of the pool, he would have never noticed her. Oh, yo, or <laughs> Orcas can be out of the water for a short time without sustaining damage. But if they're out of the water for a long time, they weaken and eventually die. In order to kill Orla, Mr. Rhymes had to drain the pool. And while the pool was drained of water, Mr. Shipley fell to his death. The show stage pool is about 65 feet deep, just like the orca pool. Without water in the pool, a person could be made to fall 65 feet. Which is what's on the autopsy. What do you think about that? Mr. Rhymes probably wondered what to do. If he continued with his plan to kill Orla, how would he dispose of Mr. Shipley's body? So he devised a plan to kill two birds with one stone. 
Oh my god. What, what, how? Mr. Rhymes went down to the bottom of the pool and put the victim's body in the rock. He then had Miss Buckler move the rock and the body together. Silence. What do you mean? You don't like my, you don't like where I'm going with this? And the witness made the defendant do this somehow without arousing her suspicion? That's right. Mr. Shipley told Miss Buckler that she couldn't perform in the new show. Miss Buckler became upset and wanted to switch back to the old version. So Mr. Rhymes conveniently suggested that she take and hide a prop for the new show. Mr. Rhymes then manipulated Orla using her singing and lifesaver trick. Right, once she got into that pool. He schemed to have Orla find the body while Mr. Plume would be standing witness. Oh, I can't believe this. He saddled Orla with a false charge of murder so that Orla would be put down. W -w what? There goes your underwear. Oh, yours too. It just blew out the back of your... Are you pissing in here? Wait, what just fucking happened? Tell me I'm not crazy. Is that why you wear a diaper? Oh. Are you peeing in here? Hey, yo, did someone pee in here? So the fact that the witness didn't see the penguin... Shows that when Rifle visited the show stage, Rhymes was putting the body in the rock. At the bottom of the pool, that is. Oh, Phoenix, oh shit! Who would have thought the presence of a penguin could prove the witness's actions? It's working. Just a little further now and Sasha will be proven not guilty. Silence. Is it really gonna be that easy though? I don't know, I'm worried. If you think you've won this battle, you're sorely mistaken. Your theory is based on the notion that the witness could manipulate the orca. Witness, can you control the orca's actions? Can you? Don't pee, you better answer the question. I'm almost positive that dude just pissed on the floor. Yo, of course not. What kind of bilge be that? I'd be but a simple animal keeper. If my memory serves, wasn't Miss Buckler the only one who could issue commands to the orca? Wait a minute, though. What are we gonna do? Do we have any proof about this? I don't think so. Uh-oh, Phoenix. It's all right. <laughs> the judge's blade is sharper than the lawyer's. If you wish to do battle with a witness, you'll need a honed blade. So you want to hone it for me? Give me the rock to rub it against, uh, the rock being your butt. Wait, what? <laughs> Where's your sort of evidence that Marlon Rhymes could manipulate the orca? Do we have that? I don't know if we do. Oh my god, my hair! I'm gonna be bald by the time this is over. Yo, that is a fucking diaper! You cannot tell me otherwise. What is going on in them pants? What is that? Rhymes had to have manipulated Orla in order for his plan to work. But how can I prove it? I don't know. Well, it appears this line of reasoning has become unsustainable. Objection! <gasps> Athena? You got something! Well, it appears I was mistaken. What you got, girl? Athena? I've analyzed the hearts of all kinds of people. I have enough experience to see when I look into your heart that you haven't given up. So that objection was my way of speaking up for your heart. Oh, thanks. Oh my god, she's so sweet. She's right. Why would I become a lawyer again, only to give up? I have to keep fighting. Athena, thank you. With your help, I've remembered the old right way. Yeah! Oh, here we go! The right way? Your Honor, I'm not finished with presenting my argument. Uh, do you have anything else to ask the witness? You've cross-examined all the witnesses and presented all your evidence. Objection! I'm not done. I haven't cross-examined your stupid ass. All the witnesses? I don't think so. Phoenix, who are we gonna talk to? I haven't cross-examined the most important one. The central figure in both cases. <gasps> are we gonna talk to the orca? <laughs> are we actually? The central figure? The one involved in not only the case a year ago, but this current case too. I've never called her as a witness, but it's time to do so now. Are we actually fucking doing this? Who are you talking about? I demand you tell the court immediately. Who is the central figure in both cases? I can't fucking believe that we're here! First the parrot! Then what? We've had others, but the parrot is the most notable, and now... It, guys, it is time. We're talking to a whale. The defense calls the central figure in both cases Orla the Orca. You intend to cross-examine an orca? Arr, what, yo, cross-examine an orca? You must be addled. It'd be impossible, say I. Just sit down on your diaper butt and let me have a minute. Oh, he's gonna have something to say about it. 
this absurdity is beyond the pale. How do you expect to question an orca, a creature incapable of speech? Objection! I've got it, we can figure it out. She's smart. You've seen what those things are able to do? Orla isn't intricately involved in the case and I have every right to cross-examine her. Besides, even if she can't speak, I think cross-examining her will be invaluable. Very well, do what you will then. I can't believe he's letting me. But if you fail to garner anything from this little exercise with the orca, I hope you realize the reward for your efforts will be the defendant's guilty verdict. He's just letting me have it. I can't believe. I'm ready and confident. So, cross-examining Orla, huh? That was a bold move, boss. But we didn't have anything else. Now all we have to do is figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated her. That's right. Now it's Orla's turn to help us save Sasha. Oh, I hope she can. An orca defendant yesterday, an orca witness today? This is truly unprecedented. Got that right. But even though this is highly unusual, I'm prepared to allow it. Bailiff, ready the witness telecast. We'll have a 10 minute recess while the telecast is being set up. I can't freaking believe this. Get out of here, diaper ass. Get your get out of here with that. I cannot believe this. This is, in this is insane. <gasps> All right, well, this is perfect time to stop because I think my screen capture is like ready to have a conniption fit. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'll figure it out. In, um, in the next one, I knew it wouldn't be over so shortly. There's no way there would just be one part to that second day trial. There had to be a part two. And in the next one, we're going to start part two of the trial. Day two. Hopefully... Ooh, hopefully we figure something out because this is our last chance. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am and I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo.